Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I got a couple things going on in this video. I want to show you the latest uh, sheath that I came up with. Well, sheath holster combo. It is a pocket combo for a little pocket organizer, pocket holster, what you be will, for your North American Arms 22 long rifle pistol and a case trapper, full size trapper. So the trapper goes like so. I see a lot of people that put them facing out. I don't know. I figure when this is in your pocket like this, it gives you just a little bit of a grip to hold on to. That's why I turn them in. I don't know. I see everybody else turn them out. I never did uh, do anything like the rest of the world. Anyway, <laughs> so I tried this out today. It, it's, it's a little tight because it's obviously it's brand new. But I think I'm going to tweak it just a little bit to where I have just a little bit longer of a ledge right here. So it's, so basically you got something to push off on, but I don't know if I'm going to change it or not because it, it hooks perfect in your pocket, honestly, when you're trying to pull it out. The knife hooks pretty good too, but it's more of a lean lean in the opposite direction it took me a minute to figure out how to get everything to work right and like i said it's i'm gonna walk around in my pocket and stuff too see if it breaks in before i do any kind of major pattern changes but um it, it seems to work great i can get the pistol out i can get the knife out neither one of them are a quick draw situation but then again it is a pocket holster not just for the pistol either we have a knife in there as well. Um, I do believe I'm going to um, open this up, leave this open down here. I thought it would be good to keep stuff out that goes in your pocket, but then again, if stuff gets down inside there, but it's pretty tight. I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm going to carry this around in my pocket for a little while and see exactly what accumulates inside of it or not. If you'd like to test one out, let me know. Um, I love feedback. I actually don't have one of these pistols personally yet, but I plan on getting one soon. Because uh, I just love this little guy. And I love making holsters for it, and apparently so do a lot of other people. When this is in your pocket, though, it's pretty much like a cell phone in there. Nobody's ever going to be able to tell what you have in there. The only thing I can think is it might be a little tricky getting the knife out if you want to use it but that's why I said I think I'm gonna loosen up the stitch lines just a little bit because I want to I don't want it falling around your pocket that's why that's why I did this so so let's say that you have to pocket carry here's the purpose of it okay either you have to pocket carry or you want to carry pocket carry in addition to or some people like it as their only option so I don't know if you guys felt the same way, but I was always be worried about stuff falling inside the holster whenever I pocket carry. So I wouldn't keep any change in there. I wouldn't keep uh, my knife in there because I didn't. And I also, I wouldn't keep my knife clipped onto my pocket because I didn't want it to get in the way of me trying to draw. So basically, I put my knife in a different pocket than my right side, and I use the knife a lot more than I ever used the gun. <laughs> so. It was, I mean, most pocket holsters are nylon. That's the one I had at the time, one of those sticky holsters, which was great, by the way, once it actually broke in. But I thought, well, look here. We got, if you put your knife and your gun in a holster together and it's not, and it's still in your pocket and it's not rattling around. So that's what I had with this. I'm going to do some more pocket, uh, some more pocket guns. Like I got, uh, I got a bodyguard, no laser. Uh, I'm going to make one of these kind of pocket holsters with that too. And I mean, you could take a, this is designed specifically for the case trapper, but sorry, I keep bumping the camera, but you could probably slip any number of knives in there, a clip knife. I'm going to work on one like that too. That's just like a generic square. So you could slide your pocket knife. If you like a clip knife in there, 
Um, but as of right now, this is what this is designed for. The NAA 22 long rifle with the cage trapper. And I think I'm going to loosen the stitch line up a little bit. Just so it's a tad bit looser because you're not supposed to have super tight retention with a pocket holster anyway. And I'm going to nix this right here where it's just open at the bottom. I might do both. Some people like it closed. Some people some people don't mind checking every day, making sure there's no dust bunnies and stuff in there. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to uh, if you want to try one of these out for me, let me know. We can work out a killer deal. So you could do a little product testing for me. Let me know how you like it. I'll set that over there. So the other part of the video today. So I'm making these knives and I do not need to take pictures of them. You want to have nice fancy knife that looks good. This is a brand new trapper. So that's good for pictures, but you don't really want to you know stick that into a wet holster to mold it so I or I saw a um, auction on eBay and it was for a broken case trapper and another knife so this is gonna be the first unboxing of it I'll just show you I haven't even opened it yet so I'll show you my address but haven't even opened it yet, so let's do that. Let's see what this thing looks like, huh? Oop, let's see here. So do we have a paper in here with an invoice? No, okay. Okay. Which one is which, huh? This. Let me see here. I'm going to open this up real quick. Hold on one second. I'm going to unwrap them. And then, because they're all taped up, I don't want you to see me struggling on camera. Okay, so I got them open here. Let's take a peek. Boom. Here we go. Case Trapper. It's got the black handles. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. That blade... She has taken uh, weight reduction. No edge. <laughs> I can almost see how flat that edge is. And then your spay blade here. Oh, it's in good shape. And the blade itself is, but the spring is broken on the back. Which, uh, I'm going to do something because it's, I am going to be using this for molding, so I don't want... You notice it does stick out. Oh, I can push it in. There we go. I'm going to do something to it so it doesn't poke out and make a weird, funky angle. But that's the one. Um, I did win this in an auction. Like I said, there was a two-piece. You get a little beater knife. So the other one in the collection that I won is a Boy Scout knife. Check that out. That's what it was labeled as. Let's see what we got here. Let's check the outside. So we're missing a little pin thing, which I knew that. Uh, it looks like it has at least 15 to 20 years, if not more, of stories that, that it could tell. All the pins are there. Handles nice. Let's see here. What do we got? We got a bottle opener. And we got another bottle opener. I didn't realize they drank so much in the Scouts. Kidding. Brave, maybe. Here's the main blade. Woo, it's got some miles on it. And it needs a sharpening. Ideal USA. Nice. What do we got left here? I'm guessing that's probably an all. Nice. All the blades come out. Doesn't look like any of the springs are broken or anything. In the back. It's nice. I like it. It's pretty crunchy down there. Could use a good cleaning. Other than that, not too shabby. Might try to clean this bad boy up a little bit. Anybody have a knife like this? 
let me know down in the comments. So that's uh, that was the haul today from Came in the Mail. Like I said, I knew I knew that was broken. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to potentially destroy a nice brand new case knife. So that'll be that bad boy will be used for forming, and then we'll use this one for pictures until I get another one. So if once again, if you would like to try one of these bad boys out for me, let me know in the comments. We can figure something out. Uh, I'm going to link down below uh, the Etsy store in case you guys want to look at any of the other holsters or sheaths that I have available. I have a lot of holsters available for this little guy right here. It's a fun one. I'm also making, you guys can't see, but underneath this heavy block right here, we got some stuff getting glued together. It's just going to be a single single sheath for the trapper. Something similar to this, but a little different. A little smaller, obviously, since the knife's considerably smaller. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Love to hear your comments. If you have any ideas about any way you think this might be a little better, let me know. If you have any ideas of different kind of pocket organizers like this you like to see, let me know. You guys have a wonderful day.